Hey guys, it's Sagittarius Soul Tarot. I'm going to go ahead and do Sagittarius's, um a daily reading for the 10th today for Sagittarius. Um, I really appreciate you guys so much. The last video I did yesterday got a lot of likes as well. So um, I really appreciate everything you guys do. Um, I'm going to do uh, more readings probably every day for you guys since you guys are so nice and always like heart my stuff and get me um, a bunch of comments and stuff. So I want to go ahead and do um, like all the 12 zodiac signs. I'm going to start with Aries to Pisces, like how um, you guys are kind of dealing with this person right now, what kind of situations you got going on with this person, okay? So I'm going to start with Aries and just take what resonates, okay? If this doesn't resonate with any of these signs that you're dealing with, um, you can always do like their moon sign or something like that or just take what resonates. It could have been for somebody in the past. This is what happened, okay? So, um, I'm just going to do, like, some oracle cards and stuff like that, see what's going on. Alright, let's go ahead and start with Aries. Alright, with Aries, let me get a card here. So, if you're dealing with an Aries, actually, I think I'll write this down. Yeah, I want to write this down, keep notes of it for you guys. So, if you guys want to, like, I'll have it time stamped so you guys don't have to keep, you know, going on and on. So, let's just say 125 is Aries. Okay. Alright, so, let's see what's going on with you. Or if you're doing an Aries Sagittarius, let's see what's going on here. Okay, we have Deception and Envy, number 7. Emotional Loss, number 5. Okay, so you could be going through, um, this person maybe deceived you by jealousy Okay, or you're just like not dealing with this person anymore. Some kind of loss here. Could be like not with an Aries anymore. Okay, we have look at the bigger picture, full moon and Sagittarius. Okay, maybe you had a look at the bigger picture when it came to this person. Maybe you were put on a front uh, that everything was fine in the relationship if you were dating this person. And you just kind of came to realization like what it truly was. Codependency, that could have been a situation. You guys could have been really relying on each other in the relationship. Let me get another one here. You guys could have been, or there could have been addictions. Or you guys were just very, maybe addicted to each other. Or uh, that person was on something. Finances and career as well as romantic feelings. I feel like there was feelings for this person, but maybe they were just too stressed with their job to do anything. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get three cards here, see what else is going on if you're dealing with an Aries. But I feel like you kind of came to a bigger realization of what was going on with this person. Let's get three cards. Okay, the lovers are reversed. There's some kind of separation here. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like there was some kind of separation because somebody wasn't really putting in the work. Okay? But it's like you wanted to make it work, but somebody else was kind of just not... Somebody wasn't putting in any efforts here. I'm going to clarify with one card, each one here. Okay, the star reversed. The lovers are reversed. So it's like th this person just kind of felt like hopeless when it came to this relationship. They felt like it was just over. Hermit in reverse. Empress reverse as well as this Eight of Pentacles reverse. This person pretty much gave up on this connection. Um, they just didn't feel like it was maybe worth investing into anymore. It's you or your person. Whoever this person was that did this. The Aries or if it's you. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, you get the Tower reverse. Okay, I feel like things aren't really ending though or it's still like hasn't ended when it comes to this person but you're still it just was kind of like not working out this relationship there was a lot of feelings excuse me there's a lot of feelings there but i feel like somebody was just kind of feeling like it was over it was done with okay there's other things that were kind of the factor for that relationship okay but like i said take what resonates it's just a general message so okay let's go ahead and do taurus next so if you're dealing with a taurus ooh. We got Destiny, number 10. So that's a good card. Okay, so if you're dealing with a Taurus, okay, maybe number 10. Maybe there's a 10-year um, age difference, 10 months. Okay, somehow number 10 resonates. Maybe you've known them for about 10 months. Okay, but it's Destiny. By meeting this Taurus, or being involved with them, it's Destiny. Let's see what else we get. That's looking good. Sagittarius. All right, we have adjustments are required, though. Third quarter moon. 
I feel like in this relationship, maybe there's a difference with when it comes to age or difference in, like, uh, characteristics with you guys. Maybe you guys are completely different people, and you have to make adjustments in this relationship, okay? Or it could be even, like, distance, too. Maybe you guys are 10 miles away, and you have to, like, try... Uh, relocate to a new town if you're with this person. Uh, I'm getting all kinds of stuff. Let me get some more cards here. And if you guys are wondering, the shirt I'm wearing, it's uh, Luke's Diner from Gilmore Girls. It's one of my favorite shows. Okay, we got Express Your Love. Okay. Maybe that's the adjustment to make is expressing more love here. All right, as well as give your relationship a chance, pay attention to the red flags. Okay, but so far I don't really see anything bad. I feel like there just has to be more expression being made here with this Taurus. I don't know how they get, they get kind of jealous if you, you know, don't give them attention. They'll get kind of wondering, like, oh, are they with somebody else? Why aren't they, you know? Ace of Cups reversed, Four of Wands reversed. Okay, Page of Cups reversed. Ooh. So far, I don't see, like, a new start here. Like, maybe you guys aren't really expressing yourselves here emotionally. And it's not really much stability. But maybe this person was, like, meant to come into your life as a friend. Or you have to make adjustments. Because maybe you're already involved with somebody else and you're married. And you have to make some adjustments here with this person. Okay, you got the Four of Pentacles with the Ace of Cups. Reverse. I feel like you're not wanting to let go of this person. You're holding on to them. But right now, so not right, like maybe not the right time to be with this person. Okay, you have destiny though. So maybe you feel like it's your destiny to be with this person, but you're having to wait because there's other things that you have to make adjustments on. Okay. With the Four of Wands reverse, the King of Wands reverse. Okay, you could be maybe involved with a, um, another fire sign and you're having to maybe like end something with that person. Okay, I feel like there's maybe another. If you're a woman and you're dating a man, maybe there's, like, another man involved. I'm getting, like, a masculine energy. Maybe even another man, like, in your presence. And you're having to, like, end that and be, like, through separation or divorce before you can date this Taurus. Page of Cups reverse. I feel there's not really any love being expressed here yet. Okay, the Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you both want to work on it, you and this Taurus. But, like, you guys need to wait until you guys are emotionally ready or... There's a situation where you guys can put love into the situation. I feel like right now, maybe you guys are at, like, a friend point, okay? Or they're just strongly into your presence right now, like, as a friend or um, an acquaintance, maybe a co-worker, okay? But I feel like you have other things you have to do before you get this happening in your life. Okay, let's go ahead and do Gemini Sagittarius. So if you guys are dealing with a Gemini, let's see what's going on. If you're dealing with a Gemini... Shoot, I forgot to write this down. My bad. Okay, so Jim and I was 805. I'll just say like four minutes with Taurus. Okay, that sounds good. All right. Whoa, okay, so we already had two cards come out. Okay, so love begins. You got the Ace of Cups, number one. Passion ignited. That's the like the Ace of Wands. Because you got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. So if you guys are dealing with a Gemini, you might have some kind of new beginning emotionally, some passion being ignited, bring love into the situation, new moon in Aquarius, okay? So you guys maybe are like in a new situation if you're dealing with a Gemini. I feel like it's new energy here, okay? And you guys are just now starting to like date or have some kind of romance going on. We have it is hard for you or it's safe for you to love sorry and then codependency so maybe um there's addictions kind of affecting this right now or you're still kind of in this energy where you're not sure if you want to be with anybody okay i feel like you're kind of scared maybe to love as well you're kind of maybe even burnt in the past when it comes to relationships and this person this gemini wants to offer you a new beginning new passion but you're not really sure if you can trust it because of like of things that happened in the past okay so, let's get three cards spread. See what's going on. Okay, nine, Queen of Pentacles, Devil Reverse, eight, eight of Swords Reverse. I feel like you're wanting to get out of your head. Okay, I feel like you're wanting to focus on like your stability, your finances, your materialistic uh, well-being. Okay, maybe you're not really wanting somebody right now because 
you're wanting to take focus on yourself here or you're not wanting anything like any like anything that's like codependent or addictions you don't want that into your life any addicting personalities addicting people okay you're gonna have your head when it comes to addicting situations Queen of Pentacles, we got Three of Swords reverse. I feel like you're moving on from something that hurt you, though. You're moving on and you're focusing on finances. The Devil reverse with this Gemini. You have the Queen of Swords reverse, okay? You could just be, like, not speaking to this person because maybe you don't trust them. Or because of your past, you're uh, not wanting, if they come off kind of seeming like the same energy as your past, you're not wanting to speak to them. But who knows, it is a new beginning, so. Eight of Swords reversed. You got the Ten of Wands reversed. I feel like you're wanting to let go of anything mentally and physically that's wearing you down. Okay, maybe you have to do this, like, not speak to this person that was, like, toxic before you can get this Gemini into your life. Because I feel like that Gemini, like, isn't, like, I don't see anything bad, but I feel like there is some kind of addiction. Okay, or maybe you guys are addicted to the Gemini here, and that's why you're not speaking to them. You just know if you start speaking to them that maybe you'll be obsessed with them. Okay. Take what resonates. It's kind of weird, though. It's like they're wanting to offer you love and something stable, but it's like you're kind of... I don't really know if you're, like, as interested, okay? you got to bring love into the situation, but I'm not really sure if you're too, like, into it. Because I see that there is, like, this is what they're wanting to offer you is Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups. They want new beginnings, new passion, but it doesn't really seem like you're too interested. Okay. Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and do Cancer. And sometimes that's how it goes, like... You know, the person that's really into you, you might not be interested in this person. Okay, so, you know the Cancer, we got movement, choices, decisions, two of wands, basically. Okay, so you got to make choices, um, decisions with this person. Okay, what else is going on? Confidence is your key to success. Okay, new moon and Leo. So I feel like you have to make a choice here. Maybe you got two people to choose. You got a Cancer and somebody else. Okay, but you, you have to do it in confidence that, okay, getting to know each other. Maybe you're still getting to know this cancer here. You guys fully don't know each other as well. Or you guys are starting to open up to each other. Let's get another one. Okay, calling in your soulmate. All right, so I feel like maybe um, this cancer you feel like is your soulmate, but you have maybe another option of a person but I feel like you know this person, you're wanting to get to know them, and you've been manifesting this person is what I see here. Okay, maybe you've known this person for a minute, but you guys have never really fully known each other, and you're starting to get to know each other on that kind of level. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, Queen of Wands. I feel like you feel very strongly about this person. Seven of Swords is a part of them that, part of you that you don't trust, Okay. But the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like you don't really trust this person. Or you feel like you kind of have to always defend yourself. Or um, kind of express like who you are to this person. Like maybe they have a hard time believing you. That's what I'm saying. Like maybe because you're the Queen of Wands, they have a hard time. I think your person, if it's this Cancer here. This Cancer, because they, they can be very sensitive people. So I feel like you come off as the Queen of Wands and it scares them and they think like there's other people or you're not really serious about them as you say you are. Okay, the Queen of Wands, I have the Seven of Swords in reverse. You're wanting to tell this person like, hey, I'm not here to play games. You know, I don't, yeah, it looks like I'm attracted and I have other people interested, but I only want you. You're the only person I want. Ooh, I forgot to write down the time. I just realized that. Sorry, guys. I'll do 11 minutes. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and do Seven of Swords. I feel like this person has a hard time believing you. Okay, Ace of Wands, but they want this new passion ignited with you. Okay, I feel like in the, and if you guys have this new thing to start, okay, this new passion, and there's a lot of passion, maybe they have a lot of um, like strong sexual feelings towards you. You guys are very like intimate. You guys have a strong bond here. Okay, I feel like you guys are going to be the Ten of Pentacles. There's, there's going to be success with this Cancer here. Okay. But you have to do it in confidence is what I see with the confidence is your key to success. You got to tell this person confidently how you feel. Queen of Cups. You got to express your emotion. Definitely could be dealing with the Cancer. This is Cancer's card. So yeah, like I feel like there is like a lot of love here, a lot of potential. But you got to tell. I feel like the situation 
what's going on with you guys is that your person, this cancer, doesn't really trust you. They feel like because you're the queen of wands, you have all these people that are interested, um, that they're, they're not the only option, maybe. But I feel like once you tell this person the truth, how you feel, okay, then there will be a new success, and you guys are going to have this great long-term commitment, okay? So, let's go ahead and do Leo, and I'm going to write down the time this time. I'm kind of slacking, let's say 15, 20. Sorry, guys, I've been kind of slacking. All right. All right, Leo. If you guys are dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, let's see what's going on. Okay. Doing a little Leo here. Love begins. Okay, you got Ace of Cups as well. Okay, so you have, I feel like. Like I said, I think you guys have maybe more than one option. You guys did get the uh, the two of wands and for Cancer, but I feel like there's maybe more than one op the more than two options. I feel like you guys maybe got a couple, okay, if not more. All right, you also got new romantic cycle begins, new moon and Libra. Okay, <laughs> after this month, okay, or even this year, you have so many choices of people. Okay, passion. There could be passion with this Leo, as well as true love. Okay. So this could be maybe a new cycle, but take what resonates, guys, okay? But this person wants to offer you a new uh, romantic cycle here. There's passion, there's true love, okay? Let me get one more shuffle. Okay, the high priestess reverse six of cups three of wands I feel like this is a person from your past or a person you've known for a while but you just don't trust the situation you feel like um you're kind of not really sure about this you're kind of having your back to it kind of see what else is out there is what i see all right high priestess reversed page of cups reversed yeah um but this leo i feel like they are wanting there is passion or there is like a sense where there could be true love, something new beginning, but I don't really know if you like want to put your emotions into this here. Six of Cups. I don't really know if you feel the same way. Wheel of Fortune reverse. Um, I feel like you guys have known each other for a long time. You guys maybe never stopped being in this person's life, or there was never an ending with you guys. But let me see. With the Three of Wands, I feel like yeah, the Moon reverse. You feel like this person's secretive, or there's like hidden truths behind this person. You kind of have your back to them, like, seeing what else is out there. Okay, I feel like you're kind of interested in an aspect. Because maybe there was passion in the past if you were with this person for a while. Or you've known this person in the past. There was a lot of passion. Maybe there was love at one point if this is a past person. Because I'm getting the Six of Cups. So, it could either be a family member. Not a family member, ew. Um, a person from, that you've known, like, because you have a family with them. Or a person that you've known, like, in a long time. Like, your childhood, okay? But I feel like you have your back to this person. You're not really as into, um interested in them maybe there's like secrets that like you found out and just kind of like you don't know I feel like you just don't trust them with the high priestess reverse okay you don't really want to offer your love to this person because you're not really sure okay so that's just kind of a general message all right virgo so 1835 okay all right virgo What's going on if you're dealing with a Virgo Sagittarius? Oh, this Virgo, what's going on? Okay, we got choose wisely. Oh my gosh. Seven of Cups. Alright, so <laughs> I feel like why do I feel like you guys have like seven options? Like, oh my gosh, because every sign I feel like you guys have like all these people wanting you, okay? And it's like literally all these people I feel like are having their eyes on you you have to make a decision you know don't let your pride get in your way full moon and leo okay so i feel like you have to make a choice between a virgo don't let your pride get in the way maybe this is a person that is a lot different than you and it's not that they're embarrassing but they just are somebody that you would never like somebody not on your level okay religious factors okay Maybe because of your family, like if you are very religious, this person's not, and it'd be almost embarrassing to date this person. Okay, maybe they're very different. They're not like really religious. Maybe they're even atheist, okay, if you're religious. All right, we also have trust, okay? So 
it's kind of like you have to trust like what you should do here because you also have choose wisely and religious factors it's like you're kind of not wanting to like um maybe you're not wanting to like embarrass yourself by being with this person or like making your family mad at you like you're shameful for being with somebody that is kind of out of your league i get like this person's way out of your league like they're way different than somebody you would never choose maybe like you're afraid your group of friends like won't like them okay see i got the emperor reversed six of swords queen of wands okay definitely feel like you have a lot of choices here you're very attractive but i feel like this person also might um if it's like a male that we're talking about, I feel like this person, it could be rules in reverse though, but I feel like this person's very, like they know that they probably won't get you. Um, or they know that they don't have a chance with you, maybe they even say that, they, they're they kind of like, I almost get that this person's kind of, get, puts that to their advantage of trying to get with you, like they kind of put themselves down like negatively, like oh I know I don't deserve you, or whatever. Okay, you got the three of swords with the emperor reverse have been a person like maybe that you broke their heart or something and they're kind of weak with they're wanting to come back around for another chance okay but i feel like you don't need to let your pride get in the way six of swords okay i feel like this person you guys are coming towards each other all right the ten of cups reverse but i feel like you just aren't happy about this person like or this person you don't see success with them they just don't really seem like somebody you would have a family with this person's maybe a lot different like i said okay you maybe don't trust this person all right queen of wands let's see maybe there is something kind of fiery here like there's some kind of passion but you're just not really with the seven of swords you feel like this person again i feel like this person makes you feel like you always have to defend yourself this person maybe makes you feel bad for being a not really make you feel bad, but make you kind of feel bad for being attractive and having options. They always kind of feel like you are on games, you're not serious about them. But I really, if you guys are dealing with a Virgo, I don't really know, honestly. I feel like I just don't really see anything good. I feel like it was a guy you dated in the past or a person you dated in the past. You broke their heart, they feel kind of weak, they're still kind of torn by the breakup or whatever happened. And it's just, I don't really see anything good, okay, honestly, like... So I would kind of steer clear of that. <laughs> like, don't let your pride get in the way, okay, is what I'm saying. Like, it might be somebody that, like I said, like, is maybe kind of below your level or, like, not to be rude, but somebody definitely, like, you don't, like, deserve, okay? All right, I'm going to go ahead and do Libra. I don't know why I got those messages, but, okay, I feel kind of like they're, <laughs> like that song, No Scrub, okay? I feel like there's maybe, like, a scrub in your eyes and you're just like, oh, I don't know if I want that again. You know, I'm not trying to be mean, but okay, let's go ahead and do Libra. <laughs> Hopefully this one's better. I don't know why I got those messages for you. It was weird. Okay. Um, I have accelerated motion, number eight. All right. As well as discontent and boredom, the four of cups. Okay. So I feel like you're kind of bored of this person. If you're dealing with a Libra, you, maybe you wanted more things to kind of be accelerated and go faster, but you're kind of bored of how it's going. Maybe it's just very blah. And I feel like maybe if you're with this Libra, they just, you don't see this person a lot. They kind of just bore you. There's like lack of communication. Okay, conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse. So I feel like, yeah, maybe you're jumping to conclusions with this person if you're dealing with a Libra. Um, it's just like a lot of boredom. Or you just don't really, you guys don't really talk. You don't really see each other. It's like, what is this, you know? a lot of cards that fell out let me reshuffle all right so you deserve love maybe just feel this person doesn't give you what you're wanting okay i also got new love and i got make the effort okay so maybe this person feels like you don't make the effort and there could be a chance of something started here accelerated motion there could be a chance of like a relationship happening but you're like um i think the accelerated motion is like the eight of wands so it's like this person you guys need to maybe talk here I got the knight of cups reverse i got the queen of pentacles queen of cups reverse i really don't feel like you want anything with this person i feel like you're focusing on your finances or like something more stable and you just don't really know if this is the right person for you 
or you just don't have really any feelings. Okay, maybe you communicate with this person every now and then, but it's just kind of boring conversation is what I see. Okay, you guys do talk. It's just very, like, blah. You guys don't really know what to say to each other. Knight of Cups reverse. I don't feel like anyone, like, there's anything, like, rushing in. Like, maybe there's not even, like, love being shown here. The King of Swords. Okay, this you or this person can be very direct about this, like, about how they feel when it comes to this situation. Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, Six of Swords reverse. I feel like you're not, you haven't got to a point where you've spoken how you feel or are on the same path with this person. You guys haven't really, maybe even kind of like stopped talking to this person and things are kind of just, you kind of are more and more about yourself, not really caring about this situation, not really, it's not really going anywhere. Queen of Cups reverse with the Queen of Swords. I feel like you're being very direct about how you feel with this person. Like maybe there's not any love with this person. Um, you don't really feel the same way that maybe they feel okay because i do see that there is a, a um there could be something here with the make the effort new love they could be this person's being direct to any kind of how they feel but i feel like on both ends maybe you guys just don't really get to a clear point you guys don't see eye to eye you guys don't really understand you know each other in that way where you guys don't I don't I feel like you guys just don't get because I got the king of swords and the queen of swords so I feel like you can have had communications about this but you guys just can't see eye to eye or this person don't understand why you're not choosing them because maybe they've been trying to make an effort here lately with you but you just aren't really interested or you're detached with your emotions I feel like you're telling this person that you're detached you're not really there's not really any love for this person okay all right let's go ahead and do Scorpio, if you're doing the Scorpio Sagittarius, what's going on? Okay. Let's see. Okay, we have heartache and loss, number three. Okay, so like the three of swords. Okay. Um. So you could have been like separated from a Scorpio. You guys could have broke up. It could have broke your heart. I got two messages. Time for healing. Communication is key. Okay, so definitely Newman and Gemini, as well as, okay, so let me get some romance cards. I feel like you guys aren't, like, with this person anymore. Healing family issues, okay? It could be somebody in your family, too, okay? It could be, like, your father or something. I also got soulmate. Okay, maybe not your father, too. Um, okay, so maybe this person, like, if you were kind of with them, they had family situations, and that was kind of the reason you guys weren't together. They were uh, going through some stuff with their family. They could have had, like, their, maybe, um, like, their family was sick or they had children. Those children were kind of a factor of this here. But I feel like something made it where you guys ended and you guys need healing. Six of Pentacles reverse. Okay. King of Pentacles reverse. Two of Wands. Um, I feel like this person didn't really offer you, like, what you're wanting. Okay. This was maybe a very imbalanced relationship. They weren't really giving you that stability and um um like the effort like they weren't really making the effort in this relationship okay they kind of left you were kind of like maybe when you were dating this person you were at a point where you were kind of not sure which way to go in this connection you're not sure if you should leave or stay because things were just so like maybe unhappy and unstable all right six of pentacles reversed okay nine of pentacles reversed i feel like you guys didn't want to be single but you guys didn't Somebody didn't really give in to this as much as the other person, okay? Like, you guys wanted to be together, but I I just don't see a, a situation where you guys were, like, maybe happily together. King of Pentacles reversed. Eight of Wands reversed. I feel like there wasn't really much communication, or you guys were very distanced towards each other, okay? Maybe you guys argued if you guys did t uh, talk to each other. Things were just very, like, unstable. Like, you guys weren't happy with this person. Two of Wands, you're always, like, stuck wondering, like, which way to go. All right, the Empress in Reverse, you felt like you weren't being appreciated with this person. Okay, you feel like this person wasn't giving you the love and attention and the nurturing care that you deserved. Maybe they didn't even make you feel like you were comfortable if you lived with this person. Maybe they were always kind of throwing it in your face, like, you living there, and you just felt kind of unsafe when you should have been in a safe environment. You just felt maybe there was a lot of toxic things going on, too. Okay, maybe this person was very mean to you. They just always made you feel like you weren't safe or wanted. I don't know why I got that, but 
I mean, it does take what resonates, but I feel like this person, you just never really, you saw them as your soul mate, which was kind of a sad thing, but maybe they were healing stuff, or they were going through some stuff, and they just kind of took it out on you, and maybe you guys didn't communicate very well with the Eight of Wands reversed, okay, I feel like maybe you just didn't feel safe with this person, or they just didn't make you feel at home if you lived with them, you just felt kind of bad for being there, like you're taking up their space, I don't know why I got that, guys. All right, let's go ahead and do another Sagittarius. So if you guys are currently dealing with another Sagittarius, okay, like romantically, let's see what's going on. So like a Saggy and a Saggy together. Ooh. Ah, uh, I mean, sometimes those are the best couples, but I don't know. Like I've, it's weird. I've just never really, I've never dated another Sagittarius. All right, so we have material and, sp uh, and spiritual prosperity, six here, okay? All right, so I think that's like the six of wands. All right, so I feel like you guys are having some kind of success, okay? Or you could just be like very, feel like a f uh, success right now to yourself. Okay, win-win outcome is in forecast, New moon, full moon in Libra. See what else is going on all right soulmate okay this could be your soulmate here as well as unrequited love <laughs> okay so it's like it could be your soulmate but somebody doesn't have enough chemistry or you don't feel chemistry with this person okay um could feel that there's not enough chemistry in this connection or somebody's not really happy but there's gonna be an, a win-win out of this there always is. Maybe you guys will just be, uh, remain friends. Because I've actually tried doing that. I've tried talking to another Sagittarius. And we just kind of, it worked out good. We had a lot in common. Okay, actually we had the same birthday too, which is crazy. But it just, um, it kind of got to a point where it, we didn't, it didn't work out in a relationship. So we just became really good friends. And that's but the cool thing about us is, is if it doesn't work out with us, like, we're not going to hate you and have grudges. We're going to try to be as calm and cool as possible in the situation. Got the devil reversed. Ace of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. There's a fast communication. Some kind of offer being shown here. Okay, maybe a lot of temptation that's being withheld. Somebody's not wanting to show this temptation. Or there's just not the temperance with the devil reversed. So, yeah, you're trying to stay cool. Try not to give in to maybe this person maybe you feel like it's not really for you okay ace of pentacles let's see all right queen of cups so you are wanting to have some kind of new beginning in regards to love you want to put your emotions into this person okay maybe you do feel like they are your soulmate but i feel like somebody here isn't maybe as into the connection though all right knight of swords there is fast communication all right, Queen of Pentacles, they want to offer you stability, but somebody here, I feel like, doesn't really want this connection as much. I'm not sure why. Okay. Um, but yeah, I feel like there is a lot of, there is strong cards here. Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Temperance, okay. So, there are, there is a chance for a new beginning, okay. A win-win outcome here. Okay, there is going to be, like, a lot of love shown. Somebody has a lot of feelings here, but I don't know. I feel like, you guys, somebody is like interested in somebody on the other side is kind of like not sure they're kind of iffy okay so just take what resonates let's go ahead and do Capricorn let's see 33 50 okay all right Capricorn if you guys are dealing with a Capricorn Saggy let's see what's going on I've actually dated a Cap oh, I've dated two Capricorns okay yeah 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 I've dated two it wasn't too bad all right, patience and planning, number seven. Okay. All right, let's see what's going on here. Patience and planning. So maybe you have to kind of wait things out. Show the world the real you, okay? Maybe you got to also show full moon and Aquarius. Maybe you got to show this person more about you. Maybe you've kind of been not really, let me see, separation. Maybe you guys were planning on a separation with this person, and you're, like, now, because of the separation, you're coming out of your shell, okay, being 
like in a relationship with this person for a while now you're coming out and showing this person who you are or showing people around you more about you romantic feelings getting to know each other could have been a separation but you guys could have had strong feelings for each other here okay so it could go either way. You could be meeting new people because of a separation and you're starting to go out and be around new people and those people are getting to know you. Or you could be coming back with this person. But let's see. King of Pentacles reverse. King of Cups, Ace of Swords reverse. Okay. Um, I feel like if you were to be with this person, you just know this person's not going to offer you enough. Okay, they could offer you the feelings. They could have feelings for you some love here but you guys don't really speak much okay maybe you guys are in separation you guys don't talk okay getting okay king of pentacles reversed ace of pentacles reversed yeah this person's not wasn't um, able to offer you what you were wanting they didn't offer you the stability the new star nothing was really being approached here okay maybe there was feelings here with romantic feelings and the king of cups let's see High Priestess Reverse, but somebody just didn't trust it. Maybe just didn't trust, like, how they were treating you, like, emotionally or, um, the things that they were saying. Maybe you just didn't trust that. Like, if they said they loved you, you just, you just didn't trust the person, okay? You feel like they were just kind of saying that. You didn't really trust their, like, their actions, okay? Ace of Swords Reverse. I definitely feel like there's not much communication. You guys aren't. Knight of Pentacles, okay? You could have been, like, slowly invested into something else here or slowly waiting for this person to come in with this communication and they just haven't okay is what i'm seeing i feel like you just don't really trust it and you don't really know how you feel about this person okay but i feel like you're going to show the world the real you maybe because you're going to be single and you're going to go out there and see new people you're going to show them who you are because maybe you've been with this person for like seven years seven months a long time and you just haven't had that chance to show people who you are Okay, let's go ahead and do at 37 minutes. Let's do Aquarius. If you guys are dealing with an Aquarius, let's see what's going on inside you. Okay, I'm just going to do these three here. I got accelerated motion, like the Eight of Wands. Okay, I got prosperity begins, so um, Ace of Pentacles. And I got universe, the world. So if you're with an Aquarius, I feel like there's new beginnings. You guys are going to have communication. Something started here that's going to be st uh, stable. Communication is key. So yeah, the Eight of Wands and a time for healing, though. So you need to make sure like you're fully healed with the uh, the universe. You're going through these changes when it comes to like healing. Okay, but I feel like you are going to be maybe in contact with an Aquarius. Let go of control issues. As well as true love, passion, and children, okay? So children could be a factor, could be an age difference. There's a lot of passion here, a lot of love for this person. But you have to let go of control issues. Okay. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do shuffles here. chariots two of swords seven of swords reverse okay um i feel like here there's gonna be fast movement or this person is gonna come towards you but you have to make a decision you're very indecisive or this person could be indecisive okay somebody here is rushing in and the other person's kind of indecisive but i feel like there's not any games being played with the chariot we have the eight of wands reverse okay you could have been like um somebody's waiting for this communication to happen because it hasn't happened Okay, two of swords, the hermit reverse. Somebody still is isolating their self. Maybe they're unsure of this connection, how they feel. They're kind of in and out, in and out. Not really sure how they feel about it here. The seven of swords reverse. So ace of swords reverse. So there hasn't really been much communication. So like I'm seeing here, communication is key. If you're going to be um, like with an Aquarius or thinking about an Aquarius, you guys need to have this communication. I feel like there's a lot of feelings here. There could be children. Uh, maybe this person has children. You guys have children. You guys are going to be going through a new cycle together. But somebody's still kind of in their head and decisive about this, okay? But there is a lot of passion here. Maybe you should have a lot of feelings for this person. But somebody has to go through changes. And once they go through this change and this healing, okay, 
Um, I feel like there is going to be like a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles here. Okay, so let's do. All right, let's go ahead and do Pisces. If you guys are dealing with the Pisces here, okay, Saggy, let's see what's going on. If you're dealing with the Pisces. we have deception and envy number seven okay this person could be kind of envious of you in some aspects here okay believe in the impossible blue moon okay let's see maybe they're envious because let me see that's kind of weird especially if like you're like with this person or let's see what's going on Separation. Maybe they're envious because you're like with somebody else. Unrequited love, no chemistry. Um, I feel like if you were with the Pisces, there's a separation, um, and this person's mad about it because they had feelings for you and they feel like you kind of didn't feel the same way. And maybe you're moving on to somebody else, and they're kind of mad. Okay, they feel like they're deceived. They feel like, well, if this is even like real, this relationship, if this person moves on so quickly. I know I've been in trouble for doing that. I've done that before. Sometimes that's like the way of healing, like myself. I'll just jump into something else and then Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> okay, Judgment, Queen of Swords reversed. I feel like, yeah, somebody is very mad here. Okay, I feel like if you're doing, dating with them, they wanted a new beginning with you. They trusted a new beginning with you. But I feel like somebody's mad and not wanting that here. Why is Wheel of Fortune here if you're with the Pisces? We've got the Devil wanting to come up in the upright. Okay, this person is very toxic. Maybe they're like a temptation to you and you guys keep going back and forth with each other. Okay, judgment. Okay, seven or eight of pentacles reverse. I feel like someone's wondering whether or not they want to invest in, any more into this. Like I said, there could be a lot of temptation here, but there's like not enough chemistry. It's kind of like what's even the point, you know? Queen of swords reverse. It's like somebody's kind of mad here. I feel like it's this person, definitely. I feel like they're very mad. All right, Eight of Cups reverse. Yeah, they're, like, mad at you, but they don't want to walk away. Okay, somebody here. I feel like you're the one that doesn't, Sagittarius, you're the one that doesn't want to invest any more into this, okay? But I feel like they still do. They still have a lot of feelings for you, okay? But it's, like, they're just, like, still, like, mad because of, like, maybe how you ended the situation, how you decided to take approach to it, okay? So, if you're dealing with the Pisces, I would kind of stay clear for a little while because... They seem like they're kind of mad, all right? So, I hope you all enjoy this video. Let me know down below if this helped you in any way. If you guys like this kind of style of video, I want to start getting more um, different videos out instead of just all, you know, like, kind of what's going on. I'd rather just kind of get more into, like, other stuff. But, yeah, comment down below. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I appreciate you, um, appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching.